Bobby people I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be reviewing some more gel polishes from Born Pretty they were kind enough to send me over some reflective thermal polishes which I've never actually seen before so I'm excited to be giving these a review I absolutely love this packaging that yellow and gray is a really nice color scheme so yeah let's take a look at these polishes Ooh, that's nice okay I'm not actually I've been, yeah, I've not seen uh, Born Pretty have the see-through glasses outside of their stamping polishes. So that was a pretty nice little surprise there. So it comes with four colors in the collection. Okay, so this should be fun. Looks like the first color we have here is BPTR01. And it's like this really beautiful kind of like lavender, um, kind of a mauve lavender color. And it looks like from what I can see in the bottle, it might thermal change to blue, but we will see. And this one here is um, BPTR02, and it's kind of this really nice, really muted um, blue color. Very muted, neutral blue color. Okay, and then these reflective polishers are stunning. I mean, you could just see the reflect through the bottle. Like, I love that. Um, this color here is BPTR04. And wow, yeah, it's like a really beautiful, kind of a grayish reflective polish with the silver specks in it and then we also have which this one I think is my favorite is the BPTR03 and that is what this looks like and this looks like an even deeper kind of uh, really deep purplish reflective polish so I'm gonna go ahead and get these swatched out for you guys so for BPTR01 this is what this color looks like okay it's a really light pastel purple color yeah, it's really pretty the coverage is really it feels sh it feels very sheer sheer the coverage feels very sheer but it actually is going on more opaque than I was expecting it especially based off how the consistency of it feels so this is the first polish here and one coat next I'm going in with the BPTR02 which is again like this really muted light blue color. Yeah, the opacity is it is pretty sure on these polishes. It's like it's sheer and opaque at the same time. It's <laughs> it's kind of interesting. I like them. These feel a lot thinner to work with than what I'm used to from Born Pretty. So I feel like these are somewhat of a different consistency. I'm not sure if it's because they're thermal polishes, but they feel a little bit thinner than what I'm used to from Born Pretty but very easy to work with. Okay y'all, so I got me some new swatch sticks, okay? Um, I went ahead and prepped uh, these swatch sticks off camera. So from moving forward, whenever I do reflective polishes, just to save time, I am gonna always swatch them against a white background, black background, and a clear. And I did get these off Amazon, so I will leave them linked down in the description box below, but I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the BPTR03. Okay, and I'm gonna start off swatching it on the clear. Okay. This looks like it would be really cute on top of that um, that lavender thermal polish there. That's really pretty. And let's see what it looks like over top of black. Ooh, okay. That's pretty. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now let's see what it looks like over top of white. Yeah, I don't think the white is doing it justice. But it's here, so we have it. Okay, so that's what these three look like. I am gonna go ahead and cure. Next we have the BPTR04. So I'm gonna do that on the white, a clear. Okay, the coverage on this is really good. I'm gonna do it on a black. Yeah, I really like it over a black. And then over white. Yeah, the white just isn't doing it justice, you know? It just makes it look muddy. <laughs> Alright, so that's these three. All the colors have been swatched. This is what the BPTR01 looks like. 
okay it's like a like i said like a nice kind of light blue almost light purple looking color and this is what it looks like after it's been inside of hot water so it turns into like this really light kind of lavender looking color so yeah that's the first color here next color we have here is the bptr02 okay and this is what it looks like after it's been put into thermal it actually turns into this really beautiful light green color i actually really like the like the color that it changes to so that's really pretty this is what the bptr03 looks like okay so this is what it looks like on a clear background a black background and a white background it definitely doesn't look good um under white because it makes it look muddy but let's see what the thermal looks like on this one okay and you can barely tell but it just kind of turns to like a lighter purple okay and the last one that we have here is the bp tr04 okay and this is kind of like a grayish reflective polish and let's see what it looks like under warm water okay so in warm water it kind of turns to like a really light kind of almost transparent gray color here so yeah these are some really fun polishes to play around with i will say the consistency on them were a little weird for me though i felt like um it was kind of hard to get them to swatch very like smooth oops it was kind of hard to get them to swatch smooth so i don't know if it's because it's their thermal line um, but the consistency, on, the consistency on these felt different than the other Warm Pretty polishes that I played around with. And this is what the Reflect looks like on the Reflective polishes. You can barely tell though, I don't know. For some reason with these Reflects, it's, it's not as like prominent as I'm used to seeing, but they are very, very pretty, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and decide what design I wanna do off camera and I'll be right back. Hey, I am back. I have file shaped and buffed my nails off camera. I did go in with my Nail Addict Peel Off Face Coat because I, this pops off within like an hour or two. So I plan on popping these right off after this video. And I am gonna go in with these two colors here, the BPTR01 and the BPTR03. So I'm gonna do a quick, simple, easy set. Um, I definitely wanted to put both of these colors to use. So I'm first gonna go in with the reflective polish on both the middle finger and the pinky finger. And then I'm gonna go in with the solid color on all the other nails. Yeah, this reflective polish, like I said earlier, it's kind of a weird consistency. It's not like as smooth like the other Born Pretty polishes that I'm used, that I'm used to working with. So yeah, I'm kind of getting used to this consistency. I wonder if it's because of the glitters that they have in here or if it's because it's a thermal polish. I just feel like the consistency of these polishes overall are just different. <laughs> so yeah, like it almost feels like it's air drying, you know? It's pretty, you can already see the thermal change. That's really pretty, I love that. Oh my God, you guys, I feel so slow. So you see how I'm looking at it and I'm like, this seems like it's kind of drying by itself. You guys, these are regular nail polishes, okay? Um, I just assumed they were gel polishes. I'm not actually, I don't really use regular polishes anymore. So that's kind of funny. So they've, um, they're still drying actually. So I'm gonna just let them air dry, okay? And then I'll be back to do my second coat and then top coat. <laughs> that was a, that was a, a, a surprise there for me. Okay, y'all, this is what two coats of the nail polish looks like. I'm not gonna lie, I am rusty when it comes to just like regular nail polish. It's been forever since I've used it, so my application is not that great, okay? And I'm a little bit impatient. I'm actually short on time. I wasn't expecting this to be regular nail polish. Um, reading is fundamental, okay? I looked on the listing on Amazon and it says that it's just, um, you know, tips about nail polish. So it's just the regular nail polish, you guys. Um, but one thing that I did see that was pretty cool is that um, these polishes are vegan, cruelty-free, and 100 toxin-free, which is kind of cool. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finish letting these air dry. I actually do have have um this what is this like a fast drying it's supposed to be like a nail dryer i got it on clearance from some store like marshall's or something but now it's the perfect time to put this to the test because i need my nails dry so let's see if this stuff actually works so it says you're supposed to spray it six to eight inches away 
So I'm gonna just, okay, I got it here. I'm gonna just like spray it and see what happens. Okay. Ooh. All right, well that smells really good. It's island coconut scented. That smells really good. So if y'all do use uh, regular polish, this is supposed to be a way to let it dry. Let's see, I can't say that it's dry because I just made a dent in the nail. So I think I'm gonna just continue to just let it air dry regularly. So yeah, I'll be back in about maybe five, 10 minutes. I don't really know how long, but need to let it air dry. And um, yeah, I'll be back to do some nail art. But uh, yeah, this just kind of, <laughs> Kind of threw me off a little bit. All right, y'all, let me know down in the comments. When was the last time y'all used regular nail polish, okay? It has been quite some time for me, okay? Okay, happy people. So it's like 30 minutes later. I just went ahead and just uh, sat and um, washed one of my Nail Sisters premieres. The nail polish is finally dry. I just wanted to make sure it dried in its entirety. So um, now I'm gonna go in and add some decor to the nails. So I did go through my collection and I found some bling to add to my set. So out of this container here, I'm gonna go in with these um, gems here. And then I also have this uh, mixture of different size rhinestones. I did go ahead and organize my bling placement. So I am gonna do that to my uh, ring finger and my index finger. So I'm gonna place that just right here. And uh, for the first time, I'm gonna go in with my McCart rhinestone glue. I actually got this in the Your Nail Lab box this month and I've been dying to try it. So I guess I'm gonna put just like a little bit of it going straight down the middle of the nail. I'm not sure if this is like a no wipe or not, but I guess we're gonna find out together. So just, I'm just gonna apply some straight down the center of the nail. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just place my rhinestones. Ooh, I think I put too much on it, y'all. <laughs> I gotta learn how to gauge it. That's what it looks like so far. I think I added too much rhinestone glue. So next time, so on this nail, I'm going with a lot less, okay? I think if I just do the thin line down the middle and just kind of spread it out with the nozzle, I think that's going to be enough for what I want to place. So it seems like a little bit goes a long way. Alrighty, so all the bling has been applied and I am loving it. Yeah, that McCart um, rhinestone glue is pretty good. I like the consistency of it, like the gems aren't like sliding around everywhere. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and apply top coat. Um, I'm gonna be using my XXC top coat today and we gonna be all done here, y'all. All right, you guys, say it with me. Loving how this set turned out, y'all. It's the extra bling that really set it off for me, okay? I really had a lot of fun working with these polishes. Like, how freaking cute is this set? Let's take a moment for the bling, okay? Okay, yes. I'm absolutely loving how it turned out. And actually, I really enjoyed working with that rhinestone gel as well. So yeah, y'all, my final thoughts on the Born Pretty polishes. So it did surprise me that they were regular polishes, okay? And it definitely did take me a a little bit longer to do this set than expected because I have to wait for the polishes to dry but outside of that they are good nail polishes um, I was able to get nice full coverage in two coats um, and with this um, reflective polish you know the it was covered it was full coverage actually on one coat so the dry time is, is about what you would expect from a regular nail polish so um, yeah overall not bad so if you guys are in the market for a regular nail polish which you know I don't know who really uses them these days but if you all do use them um definitely check out the more pretty ones i do think that they're pretty good so yeah um and i love the fact that they're thermal so you guys can see on the nail bed here um that's where it's warm and then the tip is cold and so it creates this really nice natural looking ombre
category which I'm absolutely obsessed with so yeah I do have a discount code with Born Pretty I'm gonna leave it here on the screen my discount code is Rose 318 so y'all can save some coins on the Born Pretty website if y'all are interested in purchasing these polishes or any other products from them they also are available on Amazon so I will leave the Amazon link for these products down in the description box as well so I do want to show you all what they look like when they're all warm so I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in some water here so this is what it looks like before okay we'll dip in water this is what it looks like after so it turns into like a light um, a light lavender color and then this kind of purpley blue color it just becomes lighter so yeah I really like thermal polishes they're just like a lot of fun to play around with so yeah yeah I also got to show y'all there's a reflect okay so let's see what the reflect is looking like this is what the reflect is looking like really beautiful I will see if I can get a better image of it because there is some light coming in um, by a window but yeah y'all this reflect is stunning I absolutely love reflective polishes I do also have a full tutorial of this set over here these are some press on nails that I applied using builder gel these nails have been on for 11 days so almost two weeks and so yeah if y'all want to see the tutorial about how I applied these to get them to last that long I will leave a link down in the description box as well I do upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday Thursdays in particular are my nail therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails and yeah if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around join the happy family i'd love to have you and as always you guys leave some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you all have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye